Good morning. Welcome to Faith in the Morning. Something good is going to happen to you today, so expect miracles. Thank you for joining me today. Faith in the Morning exists to help you start your day with faith and encouragement, and that's exactly what's going to happen today. Thank you for adding us to your morning routine. One of the things we do with Faith in the Morning, we have so many different ways where people can get connected. We have the podcast on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. We stream it on Tubu and YouTube and Facebook. It's on our Faith Plus app. We also have a newsletter version that goes out every single weekday morning as well. So I encourage you, however you're watching, however you're listening, follow, like, subscribe, and share so more people can be encouraged. And before we get into the devotional today, I want to, I want to share something with you. I actually have a prayer request. While you listen to this, I'm preparing to record 16 programs for a brand new TV series that we're going that's going to air on METV and the Inspirational Network sponsored by Sid Ross Ministries called The Hero's Journey, Discovering the Hero in You. It's going to be a way that people begin to understand what the Bible says about them. And so it's a wonderful opportunity that was opened up to us by Messianic Vision and Sid Ross Ministry. I'm so grateful for their generosity and their belief in what God has called us to do. And so while you're listening to this, whether you're listening to the morning, if you're listening in the morning, I'm preparing to share. If you listen throughout the day, I'm in the midst of recording 16 different programs, which is equivalent to somewhere roughly between 13 and 16 full sermons in two days. So I ask that you pray for me, pray for my strength, pray that God gives me a wide door of utterance, and pray that even as we record, the Holy Spirit moves in a mighty way. So if you'll take some time and pray for me today, can you go ahead and put in the chat, say, I'll pray for you, Pastor. Come on. If you're going to pray for me, let me know that you're praying for me. I really appreciate your prayers. If you're going to pray for me, let me know in the chat that you're praying for me. I really appreciate you, and I'll keep you updated. I'll share some updates about what we do today in tonight's midweek experience when we stream live at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All right, let's get going today with our faith family confessions, our affirmation we start our day with to say what God says about us, to renew our minds, to focus ourselves and release our faith. So say it with me. Say, I'm the salt of the earth. I'm the light of this world. Jesus said it, so I believe it. I'm a carrier of the glory of God. Today, I will experience the extreme goodness of God. Today, I make myself available for God to show his goodness to others through me. Today, I'm increasing in influence. Today, I will see the goodness of God in my life. Today, something good is going to happen to me, so I expect miracles. Praise God. Once again, go with me to 2 Corinthians chapter 5. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, we're talking about who we are in Christ. We're talking about our identity. We're building on what we shared on Easter Sunday, and you'll find that link in the show notes and on the description, so if you missed that message, you can listen to it. 2 Corinthians chapter 5. Starting once again with verse 17. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. You are not who you used to be. You're not an old sinner saved by grace. You are saved by grace. And once you're born again, the scripture says in First Peter, you're born again from the incorruptible seed of the word of God. Once you were born again, everything became new. When Jesus talked about in the gospel of John, that phrase born again means born from above. You're not who you used to be. Now, Paul uses this language in 1 Corinthians talking about believers. And if you're following our Faith Plus reading plan, we're reading through Corinthians right now. And I encourage you to read through with us. But when he's talking about the struggles in the Corinthian church, he says, you guys are acting like mere mortals, which should remind the church of Corinth that once they're born again, they're no longer mere mortals. Who are they born again? The new creations in Christ Jesus. Verse 18 says, now all things are of God who has reconciled us to himself through Jesus Christ and has given us the ministry of reconciliation. That is, God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself, not imputing the trespasses to them and has committed to us the word of reconciliation. So everything that became new about you in your spirit when you're born again came from God himself. You have to think, when you were born again, made a new creation in Christ Jesus, immediately the Holy Spirit moved in. So you immediately became the temple of the Holy Spirit, as we see in 1 Corinthians 6 and 2 Corinthians 6. But also on the inside was in part to you the fruit of the Spirit that we see in Galatians chapter 5. But also we see that different abilities, gifts, anointings, and talents were put on the inside of you. You have more on the inside of you than you've ever imagined. You are new creation. As I used the example yesterday, it's like the X-Men, mutants with the abilities that the world doesn't understand. That's who Christians are. You have abilities that the world doesn't understand because you've been born again. There's so much that God has put on the inside 
that you've discounted because you look at yourself just by your flesh or by your own mentality and you don't look at yourself in Christ. What's on the inside of you is so vast. What God has put in your spirit is so amazing. The only thing I can uh, compare it to is, you know, I grew up, you know, the 80s and the 90s and there was a really popular show. You don't know, they did a revival of the show recently called DuckTales. And in DuckTales, Uncle Scrooge had this money bin that was filled with money and treasures. It was a vast storehouse of resources. Your spirit is a vast storehouse of the goodness of God that he's put on the inside of you. So don't look at yourself out of Christ. Stop saying, I can't do this. I don't know enough people. I don't have enough talent. I'm not skilled enough. I'm not this. I'm not. Stop talking about who you are outside of Christ. Start saying who you are in Christ. In Christ, you are enough because in Christ, you're never by yourself. In Christ, you are with Christ. And the same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead lives on the inside of you and is helping you today. So stop discounting yourself. Stop looking at yourself outside of Christ. You are a new creation and you have supernatural power on the inside of you. So say it out loud, put it in the chat, say, I am a new creation and I have supernatural power. Come on, say it out loud, put it in the chat, say, I am a new creation and I have supernatural power. One more time, say it out loud, put it in the chat, say, I am a new creation and have supernatural power. The same power that raised Jesus from the dead lives on the inside of you. And as we share it on Monday, it's giving life to your body. Acknowledge who you are in Christ. Acknowledge that power working on the inside of you. Talk about it to yourself throughout the day. Remind yourself who you are and watch the beautiful things God does in your life. We're out of time for today. Make sure you read today's newsletter. We have a newsletter version of this podcast. You'll see it in the link in the show notes and on social media as well. Thank you for praying for me as I record this brand new program that's going to air soon on two more global networks. I love you so much. I'll see you tomorrow on Faith in the Morning. God bless.